creator. So again, it's not whether there is in fact a flat earth or not, but it's important to be mindful that science should only be a verb. Once it becomes a noun, it becomes its own dogma. Now, I say something to see that she doesn't like the word, but it's the idea of unlearning. All you guys are in school right now, you're primarily here to learn. But as you're learning, it's really, really important to be critical, to be thoughtful about what you're studying. And at some point, you're going to have to unlearn some of what you did learn. What does unlearning mean? To lose knowledge. Okay, information. right on. What C says is C says that that's not really unlearning, it's just relearning. But it's not, it's fundamentally different. Because now you think something different. It's not only hard. that, does anyone have a fireplace at their house? Okay. Above your fireplace, do you have a mantle? Yeah. What do you have on the mantle? Um, just pictures and stuff. Things that you like. Things that are kind of important. When you unlearn something, you necessarily take something affirmatively off of a mantle. You know what else a mantle is? The other M-A-N-T-E-L is a mantle on the fireplace. Does anyone, does anyone know another definition of mantle? Thing of the earth. To put something on. Close. You think of the earth. That's the same idea. Mantle means shelf. Yeah. It also means a cloak. Like you wear a mantle. When you look at this world differently than how you're told to look at it, it requires you to take a mantle off. And when you take a mantle off, it makes you a little bit naked. It makes you more exposed. So again, I'm not here trying to get, and I don't know what C's object is, but I'm not trying to get any of you guys to believe in the flat earth theory. I'm just trying to, I'm asking you to be mindful about accepting everything you hear. When we were on the East Coast, Diego made a statement about, I think this kind of started because Diego was calling me a conspiracy theorist. Okay. Let me kind of give you some context to my response to that. My first homicide was maybe eight or nine years ago. And I was doing a presentation very much like this in a room downtown in a high building. And I remember I was looking over, I was looking out the window, I could see the water behind me and I had a group of people who were asking me questions and I, was, I had to give a presentation, kind of like C, about my defense. And during my presentation, I said, someone asked me a question about the wheels. It was a West Coast shoot, uh, West Coast are the Crips. Um, it was a gang shooting right in this area. And someone, uh, this high profile guy that you've seen on TV, if you ever watched the news, he said to me, he said, Avidia, what about the wheels? The wheels are the same wheels uh, as were found in wherever. They, they basically found the same wells. And I said, well, maybe that's a coincidence. And before the word coincidence came out of my mouth, he said, Avitia, in homicides, there are no coincidences. And I didn't like that, not because I didn't think he was right, but I heard him say, I heard it, I heard him on a philosophical level. What I mean by that is, when he said that, I thought to myself, like, are there coincidences? Now, obviously, we know that there are small coincidences. But big coincidences, like this morning, I had someone, a young man who's going to be going to prison for a number of years. He was there with a woman. It just so happened that this young woman was Seventh-day Adventist. And I talked with, I had a prayer like before I talked with them. And I told them, just like I'm telling you guys, this meeting is not a coincidence. You're going to go to prison for a little while and i asked him if he was a believer i said look this world is coming to an end sooner rather than later you take the book when you go you be a missionary in there now i'm saying that for this reason the idea of the, the the term conspiracy theory do you guys know where that term came from the origin of that term a theory like the idea of something or like that specific terminology to conspire no do you know where that so conspire Exactly. But do you know where that term, con you're a conspiracy theorist, do you know the origin of that terminology? Mm -hmm. Anyone heard of Kennedy? John F. Kennedy? Oh, yeah. 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 What happened to him? He was shot. Well, that's what they believed. Well, he got his head blown off. Mm 